Fairy Terra Primarina is the latest seven star Terra raid coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Just like with every event Terra raid, I got you covered with everything you need to know. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. It's been about a month since seven star Meganium, and it's time for our next seven star Terra raid, Fairy Terra Primarina. This event will run over two weekends like most seven star Terra raids. Weekend one kicks off Thursday, May 9th at 8 p.m. Eastern time and runs until Sunday, May 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. This is our second Fairy Terra seven star Terra raid. The first was seven star Delphox in July, 2023. Free Marina is the third of the four starter Pokemon that are featured on the teams of the Blueberry Academy Elite Four to be featured in seven star Terra raids. This has me hopeful that my favorite Pokemon, Sceptile, will be featured in a seven star Terra raid very soon. I will not be live as soon as the event starts on Thursday because I will be actively moving from Florida back home to New Jersey. So this will be my last video that you will see this apartment. So everyone leave a comment saying goodbye to my apartment. But now let's get into the reason why we're gathered here today. Let's talk a little bit about Seven Star Pre Arena and then discuss some ways that we are going to defeat it. First things first, one of the most important things to note about Pre Arena is that it's an incredibly strong special attacker and it has a ton of special bulk compared to physical bulk. This means we want our counters for Pre Marina to have a high special defense stats and we want to use physical attacking Pokemon wherever possible. It's a relatively slow Pokemon with a base speed of 60 so we shouldn't have to really worry about outspeeding it. Its hidden ability Liquid Voice is really interesting. It makes any sound based moves turn into a water type move. It's an interesting ability in general, but I don't think it's going to play that much of a role in this Terra Raid because Primarina is a fairy type Pokemon in the seven star Terra Raid, giving it two weaknesses, Steel type and Poison type. Having access to extra water type moves doesn't help with that. The hidden ability Liquid Voice could lead Primarina to use mostly sound based moves. If that is the case, then Throat Chop support could be really interesting. Throat Chop prevents the target from using sound based moves for two turns. Free Marina does have coverage for Poison type Pokemon with the move Psychic. Shadow Ball is another useful coverage move it could have to help check potential counters such as Goldango or Galarian Slowbro and Slowking. Free Marina does not have access to any coverage for Steel type Pokemon, so the most important thing to take away from this preview is that Free Marina's biggest weakness is physical attacking Steel type Pokemon especially because Primarina gets access to some pretty useful status moves like Calm Minds and Amnesia that could potentially further raise its special defense. Now that we know what we're up against, let's take a look at some Pokemon that you can use to defeat 7-star Primarina. Here's a high-level overview of four builds that I think are really going to serve you well in online group terror raids against Primarina. Make sure to check back with the channel after the event already starts, and I will have the turn-by-turn -turn directions and guide for soloing 7-star Primarina. But right now, we have our support Alcremie to support our allies, make them hit harder. We have our support Corbinite that specializes in debuffing Primarina's physical defense, are also allowing our teammates to hit harder, but in a different way. Wow, that would be a great team if you had to support Alcremie and support Corbinite together. Then we have our mixed support attackers with Tinkaton and Empoleon. Uh, they have some the ability to debuff Free Marina in some way while also being able to power themselves up with Swords Dance and hit for a solid amount of damage. Make sure you join my live streams and my Discord server to raid with the Danimal Kingdom. It's a lot better than doing terror raids with randoms. But now let's get into each one of these builds. Let's kick things off with our only 100% support build on this list, Alcremie. It's terror type, not important. We're not attacking, we're never gonna terrestrialize. Our held item is important. We're gonna go with the Light Clay that is going to extend the, the duration of Light Screen and also reflect, but Light Screen for this build from five to eight turns. That gives us more turns to do things like Decorate and Helping Hand. As for our EV spread, we're going with max HP, max special defense, and the final four in defense or speed. The last four EVs aren't really important here. Only the special defense and the HP EVs are gonna help us out. So that's 26 HP up, 26 Zinc. Our Alcremie has a calm nature to lower its attack lowering its special defense, we need that special bulk against Primarina. It has max IVs in all of its stats except for attack. I don't think Alcremie's ability is going to matter for this terror raid, so either one works. As for the move set, we have Alcremie's signature move, Decorate. It's incredible. It sharply raises the target's attack and special attack. Great move. After when we're done decorating our allies, we can use Helping Hands to give them another 50% damage boost. 
So Recover will help us survive because we're not uh, using something like the Shell Bell. We're not using uh, Draining Kiss to heal. So we need to give ourselves some recovery some way, somehow. Light Screen increases the special bulk of Alcremie and its allies. If it turns out that Alcremie is uh, not taking these hits well enough, you could also give it Calm Mind to boost itself up, fortified against special defense, a special attacks from Marine Marina. Then it can go on with decorating. But for now, I'm rocking with like a very offensive minded support Alcremie. Next up is a Pokemon that is no stranger to getting featured in my videos. It is Corviknight. Only this one is about 25% attacker, 75% support. It will have a Steel Terra type. That way we can still Terrastalize and sneakily deal some all right damage. Held item Shell Bell. That way we can recover some HP as we're dealing some damage. I'm not sold in the Shell Bell here. Maybe the Light Clay, maybe the Leftovers, I don't know what will be best. EVs, I do know HP and Special Defense because I'm going with a real uh, support focus on this one. The real goal of this build is to lower Pre-Marina's defense to minus six and then keep it there, whether or not the shield is up or not. We're gonna do that with Screech and Rock Smash. But first, uh, we can look at our ability. Our ability, uh, it's, I have Unnerve right now. If Pre-Marina does use some, some uh, moves that are gonna lower our stats, we can switch that to Mirror Armor. It has max IVs and all of its stats except for special attack. As for the nature, it is a careful nature to lower our special attack while increasing our special defense, further increasing the special bulk of this bird. I want this bird to survive so it can use Screeches early before the shield comes up because I imagine that Pre Marina won't start with this shield up, maybe it will. And while the shield is up, we'll use Rock Smash. That has a 50% chance to lower the target's defense by one stage unlike the uh, two-stage drop we have from Screech. We also have Light Screen to increase the special bulk of Corviknight and its allies. But after we're done, after we get Pre-Marina down to minus six and we have the Light Screen up, then we can Terrastalize and sneakily hit for a lot of damage with Iron Head. This build is going to play very well with other builds that have Swords Dance to power themselves up, but don't have something to lower Pre-Marina's defense. Up next, we have another mixed support attacking build, but this one is a little more offensive than Corbin Knight's. It is Tinkaton, one of my favorite new Paldean Pokemon. It is Girly Pop, and I think it's finally ready to shine in a seven star terror raid. Its terror type is going to be steel, so we can hit for a million damage with Gigaton Hammer, and it's holding the Shell Bell held item for some recovery as is tradition. As for our EV spread, we're going a little more offensive minded. We're going with 252 attack EVs, 252 special defense EVs, and four, the last four in HP. So to replicate this, that's gonna be 26 protein, 26 zinc, four health feathers or one HP up. For our ability, we're gonna use the ever popular uh, adamant ability, which lowers the special attack while raising our attack. Really one of the most common abilities of physical attacking terror raid Pokemon. It has max IVs in all of its stats, except for special attack. Our ability, we're going to go with own tempo for now, just in case Free Marina tries to confuse us. Maybe it matters, maybe it doesn't. As for our moves, Skitter Smack is one of the keys to this build. This build has a little of everything. Skitter Smack allows it to lower the special attack of Free Marina, increasing our survivability. Rock Smash will soften up Free Marina for uh, Tinkaton and its allies, just like Corviknight was doing. And Swords Dance! Swords Dance is what differentiates the Tinkaton from the Corviknight build. Swords Dance allows us to power up for hitting with a lot of damage with Gigaton Hammer. The only bad news with Gigaton Hammer is that we're gonna have to alternate uh, using other attacks. And you're gonna wanna PP max that. Don't go in with five, you're gonna need all eight. So I would recommend, you know, Swords Dancing up and then Gigaton Hammer, and maybe throwing in a Rock Smash to further lower that defense and swap it in with Gigaton Hammer. So I'm very confident that this will be an excellent mixed support build in group raids. And I have a feeling that there's a chance, a chance that Tinkaton could solo. I think it has all the tools here. So I'm feeling good about Tinkaton before the event, but make sure to check back with the channel after the event starts for my updated builds. Last but not least, it is Water Starter versus Water Starter and Polian to take down Pre-Marina. It's gonna have a Steel Terra type and use the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. As for our EVs, just like Tinkaton, Max attack EVs, max special defense EVs, and the final four in HP. Hello, this is Editing Dan. It's important to say that Empoleon should have its last four EVs into speed. That will make Empoleon just one point faster than Pre Marina. Again, Empoleon's last four EVs are in speed. Don't listen to past Dan, listen to Editing Dan. Back to the video. Once again, 26 protein, 26 zinc, 
1 HP up or 4 HP feathers. Again, the adamant nature to further increase our attack and lower our special attack. The ability you don't need competitive, I had this as competitive because this used to be a special attacker before a fresh start emoji. Just go with Torrent, that's no problem. As for our moves, our most powerful physical attacking steel type move for Empoleon is Terra Blast. So Terra Blast is going to be how we're dealing damage. Swords Dance will power up Terra Blast. Then we have Throat Chop, which I alluded to earlier, could be interesting. This could be useless, but maybe in a mixed support attack role, we prevent Free Marina from using some powerful sound based moves. Again, we have to wait and see the moveset. I don't know. Mud Slap, I love it. Mud Slap is going to be how we're going to charge our Terra Orb. So if you want to use this, here's the blueprint for using Napoleon. Three Mud Slaps to charge up your Terra Orb. Swords dance it up to plus six and start Terra Blasting, Terra Blasting. And figure out, maybe mixing in Throat Chop here and there helps. It depends on who your teammates are. 